Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust a door. You know when you, when you close the door and it's hitting and you have to like push it hard. Well in this case, uh, it's a relatively new door. It has, doesn't have like a million coats of paint on it. And it's one of these cheaper uh, Masonite colonist doors. What we don't want to do is start trimming the door. That's always anybody's first answer to it is, oh, so let's just cut it. Well, once you cut the door, that's it. You know, you, you bought the farm if you cut too much or whatever. So I can see where it's hitting the top. So let me give you a, a better view on here. I'm going to show you what we're going to attempt to do. All right, now if you look, as I close the door, just gently without putting a lot of pressure, we can see where it's hitting right here. And, you know, and the rest of it doesn't look bad, but here is where we normally would say, okay, let's just sand it down a little bit or get a saw and chop it off. But that's really, like I said, it's not the, the answer right away. So let's go look for an answer. Now, what I want to do, being that it was the top of the door that's hidden, I want to see if I can push the door in. And I can. I mean, I can actually wiggle it. And from my angle here, I can actually see the hinge. There's an issue with the hinge. So obviously, if we were tighten that up, um, it might suck it in enough so where it's not hidden. Let me give you a, a better view of that. I'll show you exactly. All right. Well, I pretty much established that the, the hinge on this door is really not that uh, good a condition. A lot of times when you buy these doors, you know, they're ready in the frame and everything. They really don't give you good hinges. So. You know, it, it, it's to be expected. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, re, I'm going to pull the hinge out and really examine it once in my hand. If I feel that should be replaced, then we're going to go ahead and, and replace all these hinges and go from there. All right, I went and replaced that hinge, uh, all three of them actually. Uh, one thing I didn't show you, but it's already done so too bad, is when you have the door, it's hung already, and you're going to replace all three hinges, well, you could do one at a time, as long as it's the same hinge and it, you know, and you should be put in place with the same hinge. Uh, just do one at a time. This way you don't have to take the whole door all apart, okay? So now, being that I replaced all then, check this out. Doesn't hit. Still pretty close. We got a little bit of a gap there. I mean, it should be a lot more, but then, okay. Now, I don't have to do it on this project. But one thing I want to show you, because I've done it many times in the past, it's not the greatest thing in the world to do, and you got to be careful on it. If you see here, the hinge that's on the jam side, that's the side, you know, this side here, with all the framing and everything. Well, when you have, where my screw is, this is this little screw that goes in to hold that hinge in it, and that's fine. But if it's still hitting, and you know you can just push that door over just a little bit, Take the, the screw out of the hinge and put a longer screw in. One that's going to go through the jam, the, the, the gap, the space that's going to be in here, which you, if you install the door, you're going to get the shims and stuff, and a screw that's going to go into the framing. So what you can actually do, and you're not going to do it with the regular screwdriver, you're going to use a little power to it. Just put the screw right in there and screw it in. That you want to be really careful on because if you, it's really easy, especially with the power, to suck that screw too far and then really like just start cracking stuff. So you don't want to do that. So first, make sure it's it's flush, which it is. Make sure everything's good. Like I said, that gap, I want to open that gap up just a little teeny bit. And as far as this tightening the screw, you don't need much, that's for sure. Just once it's once it's locked into a stud, the littlest turn can really make a big difference. Which, you know, I mean, you can do it the top, the middle, wherever, wherever it may be. So you're just going to give it a little, little, little power. I might have been too much. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay, look at that. Even that's better now. Now, our problem initially was the hinge, but I wanted to move that over even more. So, look at that. Now, it actually evens up everything pretty good and it looks good. Nice and quiet. I like that. But, look at that. All right, stop. Okay, well now our door is done. It's closed. Now we could maybe uh, repaint it and fill some of these nasty little marks up. Anyway, that's how you do it uh, on any door, especially uh, an exterior door, because the exterior doors weigh a lot more. And believe it or not, 
some of these expensive exterior doors you get, they come with those cheap ass hinges too. So it's always a good idea to change it to a better, higher quality hinge. And uh, security as well. A lot of people think you put the door, you put the lock in. But remember those little teeny screws? Well, you know, you give it a good hit on here and on these cheap doors, it'll fall apart. Anyway, that's how you adjust the door by the hinges and the screws or whatever the hell you want to call it and it works well. Thanks for watching.